G'day viewers, uh, I'm new to the world of 3D printing, um, but I recently bought this uh, Prusa i3 Mark III printer, which I absolutely love. I've been printing out all sorts of things over here. Um, but one problem that I have with it is um, the knob, well not, well, this is a reprinted knob, but when you use this knob, it seems to rotate the wrong way for the menu systems. If I Use it at the moment, I'll change the um, print speed here. If I turn it counterclockwise, it'll, the print speed will go down, as you can see. And when I turn it the other way, it'll go up. Uh, but the problem is when you press the button and then I wanna scroll through the menus, to scroll down, you would think that you would turn it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, but that doesn't have any effect. You Turn it the other way and it goes down. Turn it back this way and it goes up, which to me seems back to front. Um, as far as if I go down to settings and say, for example, go to temperature and go to nozzle temperature, as I turn the nozzle clockwise, the, the temperature goes up and down as you would expect. But it's only the menus seem back to front. Now I know there's, um, there is ways of uh, changing this in software, but they or that generally just involves reversing the rotation of the knob, um, which won't then make sense for increasing the print speed or increasing the temperature. That will be back to front, but the menus will be the right way. So what I, my plan is to do something a little bit different. Uh, I have seen people suggesting uh, changing the pinouts on the on the encoder in here to make it the reverse rotation as well, which is a, like a hardware change you could do. Um, but I figure it would be more intuitive if the knob was over this side of the screen. So what I intend to do is actually remove the LCD, uh, turn the LCD upside down, and then turn the whole board upside down so that the knob, the reset button, and the and the beeper end up over the other side of the screen. So uh, I'll give it a crack and um, I'll make another bit of a video to show you um, how it's turned out. So yeah, I'm back again. Uh, I just wanted to say that to remove this cover, uh, there's a couple of screws um, go into the bottom area here on the bottom of, from the bottom of the circuit board in, in that corner and that corner, I think they were, um, through those holes there in the board. Uh, I've removed them um, and oops, I've got it upside down. Uh, and yeah, taking this cover off, it has to unclip as well. There's a little clip on the top part there of the board of the cover. Unclipped it, take the board off, undo the two uh, connectors on the bottom. So my plan is to unsolder all of the header connections here on the LCD, um, flip the LCD upside down and take the whole board and turn it the other way around so that the, so that the um, encoder knob ends up on the left hand side and then when you rotate it that way the menu will move up and down like that but it will still as you go clockwise it will still increase or decrease uh, the temperatures etc. Uh, I'll see how it goes. I'm just going to uh, unsolder all of these, uh, grab a piece of um, ribbon cable which I've got here somewhere uh, I stole out of a, an old computer that I've got here uh, and use the ribbon cable to uh, extend these connections around to the other side here so the screen's upside down. So I'll sew the screen's the right way up with the board upside down and um, yeah, I'll see how it turns out. Okay, I've got the screen rotated around and the board in, reinstalled in place. Uh, just tried it out, it works quite well. Uh, had a real lot of trouble unsoldering these uh, the connections on the header uh, on the board so that those connections there were down here um, I suggest if anyone's going to do this to um, instead of trying to unsolder them off the board like I did if you don't have a, a desoldering station um, I'd suggest maybe getting in here with a Dremel and cutting the headers and then unsoldering and 
and pulling the each pin out in turn because um, a lot of the pins were really, really tight fit in the holes and they actually took a lot of force to push them out while I was desoldering them. So yeah, it made a bit of a mess of the of the board, which um, I fixed up. But uh, also my choice of ribbon cable wasn't very good. It was really, really fine ribbon cable out of a computer and it was pretty hard to um, to get in, you know, to um, re-solder onto the board. But anyway, it's done. So the ribbon cable essentially runs from behind the board here down to underneath here into the red board. Um, I've just sat the this board in place at, at a, and tried to get the dimensions, which is about like 3.4 millimeters from the top here, and I can't remember from the side, maybe 15 millimeters or something from the side here. Tried to keep those dimensions pretty much the same as how the original board was made and uh, just hot glued it in place. Um, I think I have to actually fiddle around and straighten it up slightly. Uh, but I've printed a, I printed out a prototype using the um, Prusa Silver PLA. Um, and it didn't work at the writing, I tried to write Prusa left-hand drive on there, that didn't turn out too well at all. So, and my first layer wasn't very good. I don't know whether I didn't have the um, printer settings set up that well. But anyway, that was the, that was the first attempt. Um, the reset button, as you can see, there's a hole up the top left-hand corner for the reset button. It ends up, it, I just didn't like where that was. So I'm gonna, I'm actually um, in this second iteration of the board. Uh, I've printed out a that little uh, square section there and um, these other two little pieces on the side for a button and a um, like a little lever that goes into that section there and pushes the pushes the reset button so that that will mean that um, I can relocate the reset button from there to down here somewhere in a bit of a nicer looking place uh, anyway I'll see how it turns out and I'll keep you up to date well as you can see I've got the uh, new display cover printed out and in place uh, I've got the knob that I got off Thingiverse. I'll put, the, put a link to the files where I got this knob from. Somebody printed that up. Um, the only problem that I've had is the original cover, the angle on the top here is slightly different to the angle that I made it. And I didn't realize that beneath this, the y-axis, there's a little bit of frame that sticks out here. And of course that clashed with the top here so I've, I've actually just cut into that with a knife to um, whittle it away so that I could um, just leave the cover on there for now until I print out another one. Um, but yeah, so uh, obviously the card ends up on the opposite side. Uh, the button for the actual reset is up here so that little lever or lever that I printed out is there so that works. It's sort of not, it's a little bit, tends to bind up a little bit. I put a small piece of this um, expanded polypropylene behind that actual button there so that it tends to give it a bit of spring action and so that it doesn't bind up as you push it. Um, sort of works all right. Uh, and it seems to be reliable, so not really a problem. Uh, you wouldn't be able to use the original Prusa um, knob that has the arm sticking out, I don't think, because it would clash with the button that I put there. So. Yeah, you could change that around, but uh, I'll put it on Thingiverse. Um, I'll put the files up so if anybody wants to have a play with it. Um, I'm only pretty new to all this stuff. I only drew it up in SketchUp and um, yeah, turned out sort of all right. Looks a bit, looks a bit boring compared to the original orange one, but does the trick. And like I said, when you go into the settings now, uh, when you turn it that way, it goes down. And when you turn it that way, it goes up, which sort of seems to be a bit more intuitive than when it's on the other side and you turn it that way and it goes down, vice versa. Um, and then also uh, by not reversing the actual um, rotation of the encoder, it still works out that when you want to turn the nozzle temperature, for example, up, you're turning it clockwise and it goes up and you turn it counterclockwise and it goes down. And the menu, all seems to work pretty fine so all in all pretty happy with it was it worth the effort not really for me because it was a lot of uh fiddling about to get this thing right but um if you guys wanted to uh, do the same thing and and just uh, uh the main thing you'd have to do is desolder the the pins on the header turn that around put a bit of ribbon cable in between there just 
each one just links directly to each pin um, and print this out and it's all good I'll catch you later now I thought I was well and truly finished with this edition but um, as you can see it was hitting on the frame where I and I chopped it out just to um, use it temporarily I think I said that in the last part of the video um, the button bit here it was a it was actually a moving button that I made uh, and that sorry I'm trying to film with one hand here um, that moved uh, this little bit here that actually pressed the reset button on the board but the problem was that all works fine uh, until you put the load over here and then when you press the button it binds up so I had to put a piece of foam behind there to push that bit there back down so I figured that's not a very good idea so on the next version I'll bin that one on the next version uh, here I copied the um, same way that Prusa did it in the first place um, this one's printed in um, PETG uh, it actually printed up a lot nicer than the um, PLA version um, and I just made a, uh, it's a bit hard to see there with the white um, I made that little piece there to uh, have an attached lever to go across but uh, like all good plans I made it the wrong height uh, so and it was also a little bit close to the uh, the control knob that turned out to be there um, oh and all worked out pretty well I called it the Mark 3.1 because it's uh, just an adaptation of the first one um, yeah printed out okay except on this one where those two little black lines are somehow when I was drawing it up I lost the little notch that fits over uh, the stands here that the board sits in I don't know how I did that I deleted it somehow when I was redrawing it so yep that one's got the chop as well uh, that was the first one that I did with the uh, reset button right up the top but I didn't like the look of it and as it turns out it, I didn't realize at the time that the angle was incorrect up the top here and it would have hit on the top of the uh, y-axis carriage that's got the chop as well so now I'm just waiting for this other one to come off the press uh, I'll give it a try out and see how it goes um, I've done this same thing uh, I've replicated the Prusa idea of just a slot in the front panel for the um, to make the, the button reset button work and I've printed this part right across here um, it's, it looks like it's on a terribly steep angle but underneath it's only at 45 degrees it's only the very top part that's on a steep angle there and um, yeah and I also this time I've put that notch back into it so that it, it'll work and the angle on the front is um, the same as the Prusa one of course the slot for the SD card is over the other side because now the SD card is going to be there instead of there so 96% there I'll see how it goes I'll try it on when it's done okay hot off the press the moment of truth uh, will be interesting to see how well this uh, reset button works now I printed a small recess at the bottom of the where it pivots so to make it a bit lighter to push so it um, feels all right to push doesn't seem to want to snap off um, and I'll give it a try on the board see it in place it's got that little uh, tag there to latch it on fits quite well um, see if the reset button works yes so that's all good uh, once again this um, reprinted knob so yeah, it wants to adjust the z-axis Oh, good so yeah now I can use the menus in a more logical sort of manner and uh, the rotation of the knob still works the correct way for adjusting things up or down so there you go I'll put this um, <laughs> this final version after what was that that was my fourth print of this actual thing I'll chuck that on um, thingiverse or some of the other websites where you can just download it and print it if you feel like swapping your printer from a right-hand drive to a left-hand drive. Good luck. I'll catch you later.